That was one of the best qualifying sessions I've seen in a long time. Now, was it wet? Not really. I mean, for parts of it, it definitely was. There was some rain coming in in the Q1. But like where we saw Q3 was mostly dry. Uh, I say the laps were fairly representative of what we might see in the race. Uh, it wasn't anything too crazy. We got the lap times up here. Mercedes, a one, two, lockout. Their Twitter feed here. Uh, front row for both uh, Hamilton and for Russell. Uh, extremely impressed with Russell. We saw his last lap not be all that good in the first sector, but we still get these weird Pirelli tires where if you save the first sector, it'll make up more in the second and third. You see, he went yellow sector first one, and then he did many purples throughout the rest of the lap. So saving that tire actually helped him out, even though it looked on the start that, it, it, that Lando Norris was gonna have it. Speaking of Lando, he backed off last lap. It looks like he, just before the last sector, he started hitting yellow sectors. He had a, a bit of a, a moment, trying to push too hard probably, and couldn't get the lap done. He ended up pitting before, so his actual 126.030 was from his previous attempt. He did not put in a final time there. So crazy, Max Verstappen really kind of off the pace. Um, if we look from free practice though, he obviously improved. So this is uh, free practice two. And the times we see there, we see Max Verstappen with a 27.2, which was really slow and then here a 26-2. So improved by a second, but I really would have expected them all to do better in a completely dry race. The track was not rubbered up. As far as rubbering up conditions go, it was still improving as time went on there. So I would have thought they would be closer to 24s around here in completely dry conditions in qualifying trim with new soft tires. Another interesting thing, Max Verstappen used pretty much all of his soft tires. He used three sets in Q2, so he burned through most of them. He had one set for the Q3 lap time uh, that he set, and then that was pretty much it. I don't think he has much left. This is uh, Daniel Ricciardo's uh, weaving in the pit lane. I actually have a gif of it here. I don't know what he was thinking. He said out of the radio that he was having steering issues, so the team was asking him to see what kind of stuff they would need to do before he came into the pits. This is obviously FP3, but we saw in the past, some of the announcers said like he's not going to lose it in the pits. V Valtteri last lost it in the pits one time and skidded sideways down, and that's when he was just being, having a normal drive. Pretty bad for Mercado. He ended up getting a reprimand. No money, though, which I thought was kind of odd. Usually they tack on money with this, but that's okay. Um, he did get a reprimand. Personally, I would have given points on his license. I think this is a stupid thing to do. Oop, sorry for the language. Perez, nowhere. Qualified P18. This is from the, the X, not fifth gear. Um, Perez, since he secured his two-year contract extension. What time are you coming? What the f does that mean? It means I'm not showing up. Um, yeah, was nowhere. Uh, was nowhere even before he beached it coming out of the fast right-hander. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good for Perez. Horner shaking his head while watching Perez being beached in the uh, in the gravel trap. He's going over the radio asking to be pushed back onto the track and, and like the, the car is like completely beached. Nobody could push it back. Even 15 guys couldn't push it back. It was pretty beached in there. So yeah, ended his day, not good. And it'll be like the same thing that I talked about in the last video of him ending up being in a place on the track that is dangerous. He's down with the desperate souls, P10 and back. They're doing everything they can to fight for a point here and there. And he's back down with them. Although he shares that kind of space <laughs> this is uh, Matt from Matt and Tommy's uh, podcast. The, they're at the track this weekend, and this was his reaction. And the funny thing is, uh, the response was Matt to telling uh, uh, Tommy to uh, F off. Uh, Leclerc finished out P11. He did not make Q3. Again, very disappointing. No real excuses this time. No blips from the car, nothing like that. Just was not quick and got pushed out. Science beating him on the road. 
Again, we talked about Mercedes. It was actually a one, two, three for all British drivers here. So don't think it's ever happened before. I'm pretty sure that's what Crofty said is a lockout for the one, two, three for British drivers never happened before. So we're obviously a time to be at Silverstone if you're a English and British fan. Biggest thing for me again, Nico Hulkenberg. And it was very close. Max did put in a lap at the very end to beat out Nico, but Nico had fifth and ahead of Verstappen until the very last lap where Verstappen put in a couple tenths faster than him. Um, we went over last video about of all the upgrades that Haas is bringing. Tons of dumb upgrades, and I suspect that they were all on Nico's car because it was rapid. It was rapid through the whole qualifying session, and it was rapid through practice. Nico's just on it. Uh, good to have him up there, though. Uh, I think he's very deserving of it. Depending on what goes on tomorrow with rain, this could be potentially, if the car is actually near top five fast, and we see some crazy stuff happening with some of the faster teams, like if Mercedes and um, McLaren and Max come together, any in there, you could see potentially Nico getting his first podium. Would love to see that happen. He well deserving. He's been in Formula One for so long. If you watch the F2 race, which you should watch F2 if you aren't already, it was a crazy race that was just bucketing down. And the weather report as of yesterday for today was sunny. So <laughs> I think they, it's much like where I live in Nova Scotia, Canada, East Coast, they don't know until it's either raining or sunny at the time. You want to know the weather? Look out the window. And I think that's what it's going to be like tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. Subscribe if you're new, throw me a like if you got time, and I'll see you guys all next time.